Today I'm going to be shining a pair of strands by Allen Edmonds in Walnut. This is probably my favorite pair of American-made shoes. I think that the style and the color come together perfectly and that you can wear a pair of strands with jeans or chinos or even dress slacks. We're going to start off removing the laces. I do this because the cream polish can get on the cotton and make it sticky and that'll attract grime and dirt. So just be careful and remove the eyelet slowly. Next, we're going to add a shoe tree to maintain the shoe's integrity and to remove any moisture that may be inside the shoe from sweat. Using a horsehair brush, uh, brush the shoes so that you can remove dust, debris, and dirt that might have accumulated on the leather and get ready for your leather conditioner. I really like Bic 4 because it was specifically made not to darken leather, which is something I really value and the owner of this pair of strands specifically asked that the shoes remain the same color. So Bic 4 is a very affordable alternative to more expensive conditioners like Saphir or Renovator, even though I really like Renovator and I think it's a great product. Next, it's time for a good shoe cream. And although I have creams in different shades of brown, today I'm gonna to be using a neutral cream by Saphir from their Medal d'Or line. It's a really great cream because it matches any shade or any color of any shoe you may have. I find that it's a very good alternative to trying to match a cream perfectly to the shade of shoe you may have. And since the owner doesn't want these strands to change color, neutral cream is the way to go. After applying the shoe cream, just wait five minutes and then use your horsehair brush again and begin to brush. And you'll see that the shoes are starting to look much better. The cream is doing its job. Afterward, you can add another layer of cream polish, which is what I'm going to do. I find that adding two layers really makes the shoe look better and it really prepares the shoe for a high wax shine afterward. Now it's time for that mirror shine finish. I always get a little tiny Tupperware filled with the water and an ice cube and a good wax polish like Saphir. And I begin using a cotton chamois around my two fingers. I begin to put layers on the caps of the shoes. Now it's important to be very careful and delicate and to add small layers. If you add too much wax, it'll cake up and it will not shine properly. As you continue to add wax, make sure to also use small drops of water to produce that high shine. Be very careful not to add too much water because if you do, the leather will become oversaturated and it will no longer shine. It'll look dull and dry. So make sure not to add too much water. Be very careful and buff with your two fingers lightly and quickly to produce that uh, mirror gloss finish. Be patient because this process can take anywhere from 20 minutes to two to three hours. So continue and don't give up. Even if it looks like there is no shine, just keep trying, keep going, and you'll begin to see some results. If you'd like, you can add wax polish to other hard surfaces on the shoe, like the heel. Just make sure you don't attempt a wax polish high shine on flex points on the shoe, such as the vamp where your toes are. If you do that, the wax will crack when you begin to walk and it'll look really dull and white and flaky. 
So just add mirror finishes on hard areas of the shoe. Uh, same principles apply. Use cold water and make sure you only use small drops at a time and be patient and the shoe will really begin to look great. Remember, as with anything worth doing, this will take some practice. Don't give up and don't get overly frustrated if it doesn't work out the first couple of times. Shining shoes is an art that takes some practice, so be patient with yourself and just do the best you can. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you've liked this tutorial, make sure to like the video and to subscribe. As always, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. Have a great day.